Welcome to Pro Coding Skills and this is Lakshmi Deepak. In this session, we'll be seeing about how to create a Salesforce application. We have different kind of Salesforce application, but particularly in this section, we'll be covering a, a standard navigation application and a console navigation application. Okay. The main difference between standard navigation and console navigation applications are in a standard navigation application, at any point of time, you can able to open only one record at a time on a click of the record name or whatever. But in a console application, the child records will be open. Multiple records you can open and every child record will open under a subtab for the parent record. So this is like a well-organized where you can group by your details in a well-organized manner than in the browser multiple tabs, right? So let's quickly start how to create a Salesforce navigation application, standard navigation application. If you remember in our earlier session, in the basic terms, we discussed about the keywords. And if you want to configure anything, we need to click on a gear set, click on a gear set, and we will be entering into the configuration called setup. And in the quick find, you can search for anything, what is whatever you want to configure in Salesforce. In my case, I wanted to configure application. So I'll be keying app. You can see a application called App Manager. You can see an option called App Manager. So I'm getting in to the App Manager. And here you can see a new lightning app and new connected app. For now, we'll be creating a new lightning app. Click on it. It will open a model for you and it will ask app name. So I'll name this as a admin. I'll name as the application name as admin and developer name which will be used for a deployment or metadata calls or if you want to access the queries or from a code. So developer name, but user interactive name will always your app name. This is my first standard navigation app. So you can observe one thing. You have a red color asterisk symbol which denotes this field is required. And if there is nothing is provided, that means that field is optional. So here I'll upload my logo, upload. If you don't choose any logo, by default Salesforce default logo will come up. And I'll say, the logo is uploaded and I'm clicking on next. And now it is asking whether the form factors you want to create this application as standard navigation or console navigation. I'll say standard navigation and I'm enabling this for both desktop and phone and I'm giving a full setup permissions and I'm let me include service setup, whatever you want. I'm including a full setup here. Next. And I don't want to add a utility at this point. We'll discuss later what is this utility means. Okay. By default, it is a default one. Next, which tabs I need? These are the navigation items, nothing but your object tabs. I'm adding accounts. I'll add like a few tabs, contacts, opportunities, leads, let's see, orders. So these are the tabs that I added in the list called account contacts and this one. If I need a home, then I include my home else home will not be added by default. So I'm including my home also. Next, which profile I need to provide in Salesforce. Every user will have the profile. Do you want to enable this permission for all the profiles or a specific profiles? In my case, I need to enable only for a system administrator, which user I mean for the only admin users. I'm enabling selected profile is so for the admin app, the one we are creating now, it will be available only for system administrator. It will not be available for anyone else. Save and finish. Now let's see how can I access my application. App launcher, 
I can search for admin or I can as I mentioned earlier you can click view all you can rearrange this if I need admin first I can see I can place wherever I wanted I placed it here and I'm switching my application and you can see the logo will change as per my uploaded logo you can see the logo and here out your contact the way we added it's the same thing accounts contacts opportunities leads and orders and uh, okay this is our standard navigation let's quickly go ahead and create a console application okay which application the console navigation application now let's go to setup again app manager as i said earlier click on app manager new lightning app and I'll say admin console. This is my first admin console application. Upload logo. I'm uploading it. So this is how it looks like. Next, and I'm selecting console navigation enabling for both phone and phone and desktop next i don't want to add utility here also and i'll say accounts the same tabs contacts opportunities orders home i'll keep my home tab as the first one next now it will ask hey I know that account is a parent and contact is a child. I'll say sub tab of contacts, accounts, and opportunities. I can say sub tabs of accounts, orders. I can open as a separately that I can do. Sub tabs of I can choose. Do you want to open orders, custom, or contract, or bill to contact? So now I'm opening orders, bill to contacts. So now understand this one account is a parent, contact is a child. So which will open as a sub tab and orders is a child of contacts build to contact it's kind of hierarchy that i created again i will enable only for system administrator save and finish now if i open any record if i go to contact again all contacts if I open now, you can see every time it get replaced in the standard navigation. Let's quickly jump into the console navigation. Admin console app. Let's view all. I'm rearranging it. Admin console. Now here is the tabs. I'll go to accounts. I just open Princeton textiles. It open as separate tab. Do you have a contacts here? I have one contact. If I open, it opens under this. See, we have orders. We don't have an order, so in this case, it will not show any orders. You can see if I can go and opportunity. Let's say if I go to my account, if I click an opportunity, it will open in a new tab. Let's go to accounts opportunities, all opportunities. It open in a separate tab but if i do same thing with the contacts contacts all contacts see, this is my account account is open contact is open here you don't see a contact name here it is opening account first and then it is opening contact so console navigation helps to keep your data group by values with you can operate with a multiple record so it is very friendly if you are working with the end users back to back with the last number of data if you want to reference thanks for watching this video please stay tuned and subscribe my channel